Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to have a one more problem statement that how we can use a measure in a slicer. So what I mean by this is like, let's say I have a one measure called the sum of sales. Okay. And if you see, this is my sum of sales. And if we want to see, let's say we want to filter our table based on the sales range. Let's say here we have some two to this thing. If I change this range, then my table should get filtered as well. But there is one limitation that you cannot apply measure in a slicer. If you see, I'm, I'm trying to drag, it is not happening. So let's say if this business use case comes up to you and business want that, okay, now I want to filter my sales. I want to filter my count that I want to see a definite number of count only, which are my, because at the same time, you cannot compromise with the huge table, but we can have the capability. Okay. We want to see it. Okay. So how we can do this in power BI that a measure in a slicer, let's see. So for this, I have already created a one demo uh, table already created so that we can have it uh, readily. And I've also created the sum of sales. So if you see now what we want, so we want first the slicer. So how the slicer is, the slicer is nothing but the minima and the maxima value of the sales. If you see here, this is the min maxima value. And if I just sort it by, uh, this is the max min minimum value. So we know that, okay, slicer is the minima and the maxima value in between range. So we need to generate a, if your first intuition is to get a series, then you are the, on the right path. So let's say how we can create this thing. So for this, what we need, what you need is like, uh, you need to create a new table. Okay. Go to click on a new table. Uh, once the new table is done, let's see. So I will select sales range filled the nomenclature is totally depends on you like it's up to you how you want to use it and how you want to comfortable on this so what we want to generate a series between the zero and the sum of sales with an incremental value of one okay let's see once you've created these things we have the series ready the number numeric values you can say you can we can use parameter also but why i'm not using the parameter you will get to know yeah so let me do quickly uh let me apply one filter i have this values ready i have this value so we have the values here. Let me do a bit formatting first, actually. What happens? It's easy to read, actually. So I have included this comma is in this. Now it's, see, it's quite easy. Uh, let me increase the font size as well. Now it makes sense. And in color and all, we will do it later. So we have this value. Now it should interact with, with this table. So whenever I change this value, it should reflect on this table. So how we can do this? Let's see. So again, for this also, we need one more measure. And how the measure will look like, let's see. So let me do filter sales based on selection. Okay, selection. So with this, we need minimum value and the maximum value first. So minimum of the sales equals to min of the value. Value is nothing but what we have generated the series. Okay, because every time we will filter, so that min max will change that one. Max. Now what we need, what is exactly the third thing that we require is that the current sum of sales. So current sales. So we have already, so because we can, we need some comparison, right? From where we will compare the sum of sales, it's, let's say 20. So minimum value will be 20 and the maximum, how the range will split. That's why we need that. Now we will return something. Return. If my current sales greater than or equals to min sales, and my current sale is less than or equals to my max sales. Okay, if it is in within the stipulated range, then it's one, else it's zero. I will show you why I have created this measure because explaining and if you see my visuals, it will be make more easy for you. So let it enter here, okay? Uh, let me enlarge this thing and let me drag this thing here. So right now, if you see everything is one, let's change it to 100. Now you see, if I just change it to 100, I will just sort it. If you see below 100, everything comes to zero and above 100, it will comes one. So we are ready now to filter our values and how we can, if I change this particular slider, the my table will now able to filter. So I just remove this thing here. I will add this in the filter page, filter by visual, and I select one because we want all the values which having the one. So if you see the filter, go to my minimum, the minimum is like near 200. So this is how you can first filter the values. Now, what is the second objective? If you see the total sales, value here and the slider maximum value. They are actually same. We don't want that. So we want something that within the table, whatever we have the maximum and minimum, we should, let's say, for example, if I change this thing, nothing will happen. If I go to very less, okay, then again, I guess it won't have the values here. I have to go a bit more. Okay. Now, if I see, let's, let's see. Now what we want that here, the, whatever the maximum value will be there, it should be, let's say this Seattle value. If I filter something X, Y, Z region category or something like this. So how we can do this thing now that is comes the second part of the video. Okay. 
for this also we need to follow the similar approach what we have able to filter this particular table now we have to filter this particular slider the same thing so what we need to this we have to create a new table again okay and i mean it depends on your uh, data model also so because uh, many of us will have dimension table many of us have date table based on the date you are calculating the sales or something like this so it will vary with respect to your use case so filter sales slider so what we need, we need to summer. We are just going to replicate this particular table what you are seeing here in a different uh, in storage. So what it is, sales. Then what I need, sorry, sales not the filter, sales super stored. We need sales super store data. Then again, sales super store data where I need city, city. What will be my column name? Total sales, and it will be calculated on sum of sales. This is it. So I have got my table. Here I got the my table and this thing. What I need, I need exactly same thing because here also we need to filter zero and one here. Like if you see what we have done, if I select here, this table will filter, right? The same thing, if I change any filter uh, slider value here, so our maximum value should change. How we can do this based on the selection now. So let me do this, this thing. Let me clear this thing. I will go to slider and create a new measure here. And for this new measure, once it is created, I will just filter sales slider. And what we need here is minimum of total sales. Total sales. Current sales will be the selected value. Okay. Since we are into the slider, we have this slider of value. So value will be from the another table that we have created previously. Now this is it. And nothing will change here. Okay. Everything will remain same. Let's hit enter. And let once you hit the enter, what I need is uh, I need to select the slider and same drag the new measure here and select the one and it will be done. It will take, uh, take a while, depends on your laptop, how it looks like. If you see the maximum and the minimum values are there. So if I change here 17,000 and let me change here. So my values should be lying this range. Okay. Now let's say you want uh, uh, one more filter. That is what I take region. Okay, let me take the region. So based on the region also, we want the same maximum minimum value. So if I select the uh, central region, if you see the maxima is something 63 around and the minima is quite similar to that. So we need to interact these things also. These both the slicer. So what I need to select the slicer and go to format and do the edit interaction and select the filter value here. Now we are done. So let's see. If I just select the central value, it will change. Uh, it will uh, I guess it's the interaction is not done. Okay. The interaction is still missing. Why? The reason is we have not created any uh, interaction here, actually. Let me do first. I have to do city to city interaction here. It's the same table that we have created. So we just wanted that to happen. And let me do both sides and apply change. I guess. Yes. So we are now ready, I guess. If I select the south one, it should filter the corresponding. If you see now 3 to 44,000. This is done, right? Great. If I select the two, it should have the filter again, the minima and the max value. Uh, it, it is slow because of the, my laptop and computation. It's something that is because uh, generally it is not very slow. I have tried in my office laptop. It's quite fast. So hope you are able to follow all this instruction that whatever that I have given to create a slide slider slicer uh, with, by using a measure. So this is what the primary task is. Uh, so hope you are able to understand how a measure can be used in a slicer. Uh, follow for more Power BI updates. Thank you so much.